What is at the edge of the universe? Many YouTube channels have tried to answer the question, perhaps I can succeed where they failed. And yes, I'm aware I promised to solve humanity's problems in the last video. I will get to that. But first, you're getting space stuff. <laughs> So, what is at the edge of the universe? What? Huh? You don't know? Well, spoiler alert, neither do I. This is the kind of late night smoking area debate that people either find captivating or obnoxious. If you are in the latter camp, I question why you clicked on this video. But I do implore you to stay. You never know. You might enjoy it. Obviously, anything is possible. The edge of the universe may well be inhabited by gazillions of space llamas eating turnips. But that seems kind of unlikely. How would they get in the eternal void? How did they evolve to withstand the vacuum? Are the llamas our creators? Where would they get the turnips? Strap the cock in. Lock your front door. It is time for big boy thinking. Yes, I also hate this answer. It's like asking someone what time it is and they reply, time to get a watch. However factually correct their joke may be, they are a knob, and you are unsatisfied. That is the edge of the universe. You see, the universe as we know it is only as far as we can observe it, observable. In reality, it is quite likely that it might be bigger. How much bigger? Well, given the enormity of the observable universe, which has more stars in it than grains of sand on Earth, get a handful of sand and really, really think about it. I find it horrifying. Anything bigger wouldn't be much more difficult to comprehend. The universe is already silly big. The problem I grasp is that even if the edge of our observable universe leads to more universe, more galaxies, stars, nebulas, black holes, where does that end? Hypothetically, there are two options at this point. The universe continues forever, or at some point it stops. First, let us focus on the infinite universe. The question that springs to mind is What the hell are you fucking kidding me? An eternal universe like stars forever, stars forever and ever and ever? How the fuck does that make any sense? It doesn't. If the universe is infinite, science may as well give up. Stars have raw power, and if there are infinite stars, there is infinite power. And how are the stars made? How is the infinite power created? God. If infinite power exists, I'm a believer, but I'm not getting into a religious debate here. That's a juicy topic. Enough to warrant its own video. Two videos, perhaps. Anyway, at any rate, an infinite universe would raise more questions than answers, likely having profound impacts on our theory of creation, the Big Bang Theory, and our theories about the potential death of the universe. Again, both of these are too large to cover right now, and probably will be discussed in later videos. Now I hear you say, okay great, the universe could be infinite, wow, amazing, mind blown, you are a genius. Very scary. My timbers are shivered. But what else? What are the other options? Tell me. Now! Ye of little patience. Yes, the universe is expanding. But if you could travel faster than that expansion, at some point, there is no universe. Let us suppose that at the edge of the observable universe, or the universe as a whole if we haven't seen it all yet, lies nothing. Imagine yourself on that precipice, looking out at crushing nothing. All the stars in the world behind you, all of existence at your back. Would you venture forward? Why would you? There is nothing there. Everything else is that way. Back the way you came. You would have to be a silly person, or really, really curious. Because as nothing as nothing is, nothing has to end at some point. <coughs> Let's say you manage to get far enough away from the universe that you can no longer observe the universe. Even with a crazy telescope, you are now in deep nothing, as deep as it gets. But still you are able to travel further. Put more distance between yourself and the edge of all you know and love. When does that distance stop? At some point surely it must. Mustn't it? And what would the stop of nothing look like? Would everything go from infinite black to infinite white? 
Let us assume that at some point you can go no further. Your ship still has plenty of fuel, but you simply cannot move past a certain point. Similar to the boundary on the edge of a map when playing a video game, you have reached the end of where it is possible to travel. Now perhaps this is not an invisible force field, rather it is some sort of universal gravity that will not allow you to leave its clutches. A bubble, if you will. If you could somehow force your way through the bubble, who knows what's on the other side? Some things are just inconceivable, even for tabloid theorists such as myself. I don't want to think about it. What the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? A bubble universe, it just ends? There's no escape forever and ever and ever? How the fuck does that make any sense? It doesn't. If the universe has a clear end, a boundary that nothing can cross, then that creates many more questions than it does answers. Put simply, the existence of a hard boundary would indicate the existence of a creator. Right? God. Again, not having this debate. Yes, I believe if we ever come to a limitation, an invisible barrier of unknown force that prevents us from travelling anywhere in the universe, then I am a believer. Even if the trap is enormous, colossal to the point that we will never reach the wall, the existence of a wall is a real philosophical problem. What if it is not there to keep us in, but to keep others out? Personally, I would much prefer there to be a wall than an infinite universe. At least with a wall, we could better understand the rules of the game. This is also why I really hate the final answer. Infinite nothing. That seemingly endless stretch of black is all it seems. Endless nothing. No barrier to keep us penned in. Nothing holding the universe together. There is no way to describe the punishing dark in comparison to what we know. We live in a world of existence, of thoughts and physicality. Beyond existence lies the forever void. And our massive universe is a tiny island amidst the nothing. What the hell are you fucking kidding me? An infinite nothing, nothing forever? Yeah, we get it. It doesn't make much sense. Forget the gaps between our stars. Forget the gaps between galaxies. Forget even the goddamn booty void. Infinite nothing is far worse. Because if the universe is finite, but a space in which it lies is infinite, then there is no comparison of scale. Finity compared to infinity is an unfair contest. Apparently, finity is not a real word. It seems kind of suspicious, no? The void wins. Our universe is tiny. So tiny that it may as well not exist. But it does, and that is important. No matter which of the three theories for the edge of our universe you believe in, with certainty, the universe exists. Unless it is all a simulation, but I personally hate having that argument. I hate it so much I will make a video on it, at some point. Anyway, the universe exists. And that's pretty cool, you know? I am alive. At least I was at the time of recording this video. You are alive. Unless you died since starting this video. In which case, bad luck mate. Condolences. We are all alive. We are in the middle of space. We live on a rock which is in a solar system, which is in a galaxy, which is in a universe. And what is the universe in? Fuck knows. But it's probably one of our three answers. One, the universe is infinite. Two, the universe ends, but at some point we can travel no further. Three, the universe ends, but the void is infinite. Bonus, Bonus answer. answer! Donut. The universe is a donut. Sounds silly, but it's worth considering. The universe could be cyclical. You could travel forever in one direction and simply end up where you started. This is known as multiply connected topology theory, and it comes in a variety of shapes, not only donuts. Perhaps this is the truth of our existence, that our universe is both infinite and a trap. An infinite trap. Nine, nine, nine. I beg your pardon? Nine donut is bullshit. Oh, everyone look, it's Albert Einstein. Are you still living under the oppression of the Beetlejuice? Do nicht insult me, blank rascoolen. There is no donut universe. And why is that, Mr. Einstein? Because of the Big Bangen. 
It's time a big bang, big expansion. Ah, uh, so you're saying that because our universe had a clear start- The atomic doom is coming. Okay, well, that's nice, but- The atomic doom! Oppenheimer! Oppenheimer! We must look to the stars! Yes, Einstein, very scary, but- The hour is too late, the clock, not enough ticks left. We must do something! Einstein, enough! Stay on topic. Nuclear war is not today's issue. I can milk at least three different videos off the atomic doom titty. So, shut up. Anyway, that just about brings us to some sort of conclusion. This video was less about answering questions than it was about reminding you of the great cosmic insecurity that our human race faces. So pick an opinion, or have none. You can always believe in Flat Earth and think that the stars are fairy lights. Love you. Bye.